All right, welcome to the Worship Center today for an awesome uh, rock and guitar tutorial. Uh, we're just going to be going over um, two pretty basic elements, but I use them so much uh, that I wanted to definitely do a video on it. So this is just going to be the major scale, how that corresponds to Nashville notation on the guitar fretboard, and link that to the chart that I made that I've been handing out to everyone. Um, so anyhow, let's get started just by looking at the chart real quick. Looks like this. And you can see over here is the Nashville notation that I'm talking about. Next to it, I put these parts of the major scale. And keep in mind, I put the two all the way down at the bottom. I know that's a little bit funky, but the two is a less common chord in songs. So I wanted these chords to be kind of in the order that you will definitely use them. And then the more rare chords down here at the bottom. So instead of doing mathematical sequence or kind of the scale sequence, um, I wanted to do it in the most common arrangement for songs so that hopefully the chords that you're using the most are right accessible here. But um, all of these things that we're doing today are color coordinated across the instruments. So I do just want to mention that even on the keyboard, the one is blue, and that corresponds to this blue row. And then you'll see that the four and the four are red, and that corresponds to this red row. The five is green. I know some of these color hues didn't come out quite the same, but the five is kind of green. And this on the stuff will be kind of a lime green. And then the six kind of has this yellowish tone. I haven't added the colors for the other two because I didn't want it to be confusing. And the one, four, five, and six are probably some of the most important ones to get your bearings on. So anyhow, now that we have that, let's get ready to do the major scale on the guitar fretboard. Let me click these off first. So here is our fretboard that we'll be working with today. Let me get that out of the way. Um, now, if you're not familiar with uh, the notes of the guitar, or at least these low strings, um, you know, here's, here's the nut. So keep in mind, this guitar is facing you as if I was like sitting across from you. Um, so here's the lower notes, and then it would be higher as you progress this way down the instrument. Um, so if you don't know what the notes are, here's a quick little guide. If you play this string open, E, and then each fret, here's what the notes would be. Um, I would say for starters, definitely memorize this E string, okay? And um, if I scoot this up, um, I can't put it right on the string, but this A string is the one that I would memorize also. And those notes, let me just go back to it, those notes would be this, A, so if you play it open, A, B flat, B, C, and that would be this row all the way down. So anyhow, I'm going to scoot this back to our um, E string, which is the bottom string, because that's what we'll be working with today. So anyhow, now let's start with the notes of the, of the major scale. I'm just going to play it for you in the key of G, but the things I'm showing you today can be moved to any key. That's one of the reasons we're doing this video, which is way cool. So here's the major scale. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Now, if I put those numbers on the fretboard, or if I did that too fast, let's go through that in uh, slow motion. Here's the one. I'm going to take this off so you can see a little better. So that's the one. Here's the two. Two. Whoops, sorry. Clicking all over the place here. Three, four, five, six, and then I don't have the numbers for the last two, but whoops, where am I going? But here's the uh, positions they would be in, seven, and then eight. Or sometimes I refer to eight as the one, so you could say you know, six, seven, one, because that is an octave of the note that we started in. So let me now put these um, on the guitar. Let me slide this so it sits on the string a little better. On the guitar, if you go from this position up here, that would be considered one octave. So think of it as here's your note, Skip a string, skip a string, skip a fret, skip a fret. That would be an octave. 
and here's the low octave or this note right here and then the high notes so you can hear what it sounds like it sound like that so the same note just in a higher register um, so here's the color coded section I mentioned we were color coded today that adds uh, the different notes of the scale And again, I didn't add the numbers for these, but you can see how the strings move. So take a look at this shape right here and just kind of burn this into your brain. Um, you know, write it everywhere, tattoo it on your forehead, whatever you got to do. Um, because what's so cool about this is all that you really need to know is this one position. And then if you have um, almost the distances of the frets or, you know, the, the proportionate distance, so one skip a string down is always going to be four, skip two frets up is always going to be five, skip two frets up is going to be six. What's cool is this whole thing is kind of a movable system that helps you to learn the positions of any song. So I could take um, this and if I scoot down, now I'm in a new key. This would be the key of C, um, but all of the positions for the song stay the same. So all of a sudden, transposing a song just becomes as easy as moving the one to a new location. So this is like the key of G. If we scooted this up, and I know that's going off the screen, but this would be the key of A with all new notes. Or we can bring it back down to the key of G. Or if we were going to move a half step down, this would be the key of F sharp. Back to the key of G or a half step up, this would be the key of G sharp or A flat. I tend to call things by the flats and not the sharp, so I'd probably call that A flat. So anyhow, way cool. Um, but this movable system is the most important thing to learn for bass or guitar. And now the piece of knowledge that helps you to know which key you're moving to is having that string memorized. So like I said, here's the, here's the E string. If we were to take this and move a half step down, now we're in the key of F sharp, half step down after that, we would be in the key of F. Moving this back up. So anyhow, that's just kind of like a visual way that I wanted to represent kind of what this system does. Um, and like I said too, um, if you, you know, memorize that string and then this second string, this would be key of C. So once we scoot this down, this note would be the C, and this is the A for this A string. So that is pretty much the really quick um, way that I go about um, transposing music, or at least picturing it in my mind. Uh, so anyhow, that's what I wanted to cover in this segment, but be looking for another video very soon that goes over um, the whole family of G chords. Um, and before we end, I just want to go back and explain through the chart what we're doing. So the blue is the one, and we started off in the key of G. So here's the numbers that we went over, and the chords for that key would be right here. Now when we bumped down to the key of C, we're technically moving the one all the way up here, and this is the new family of chords. But you can see how just remembering the number family is a lot easier than memorizing six new chords. So in the key of G, you've got, you know, six or seven chords, and then you would have to memorize seven new chords for the key of C. Uh, so it's just kind of a quick way to move from one key to the next. Um, but just to end today, let's go back to that um, part of the major scale, and uh, we'll wrap it up on this. So here's that major scale again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So anyhow, just starting out, take a look and be familiar with these things until, um, until you can move all this without even thinking and uh, the songs will become uh, so much more natural to you. Um, I think in these terms, even if I don't know the key to a song, 
um, I can start mapping it out in these numbers in my head. And then when I get a guitar, I can figure out the key and start figuring out the song from there. So take a look at this concept. Really cool. Uh, and then make sure that you understand, you know, kind of how it corresponds to the chord families. Um, but otherwise, that's a wrap on major scale and Nashville notation. Like I said, this applies to, you know, basic guitar stuff. For the rest of the guitar videos, we'll be building off of this um, and now adding a chord to each number instead of just a single note. Uh, so anyhow, thanks for watching. <laughs>